Okay, uh, let's start the uh, second lecture. Uh, today, I will uh, talk about the, the uh, very kind of a rough introduction of speech recognition. Um, before moving to the contents, technical contents, I would like to have several logistics. Uh, first, uh, the TEA's uh, uh, office hours are fixed, uh, the Monday 3 to 4 p.m. for Shuankai, the uh, Wednesday 2 to 3 p.m. Jiaotong, and the Saturday 3 to 4 p.m. Yifan, uh, based on the, uh, the, the you guys' input for the schedule. And we try to kind of find the mode uh, and the cover uh, the everyone's availability as much as possible. And uh, we still don't fix the kind of a place yet, uh, but anyway, uh, the, the, from uh, the, this week, if you guys have some uh, the, the, uh, something that you, you guys want to uh, talk to with us, uh, the, feel free to uh, the fingers uh, use these uh, office hours. And the mine is already fixed Tuesday, uh, 1 to 2 p.m. And the second uh, uh, logistic, uh, the, the, uh, the related uh, information, uh, it's as I mentioned uh, the many times, uh, the, the, we use Piazza uh, for almost everything, except for the grading. And we don't use the canvas. So uh, the, the, if you guys have some uh, uh, issues uh, about the canvas, uh, the, I do not answer anything because I even do not activate it. And the... Uh, other questions are that the, 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 some people uh, that said that we cannot find the uh, course materials. Um, I would put that in the uh, uh, resources tab in the Piazza. So some of you might know, uh, but I actually often use this part. Uh, this resources uh, the, is a very well designed uh, the minimum information. Uh, about this uh, the, the course. So even that if you click stop, you, you guys can also find the, our uh, office hours and so on. So uh, the, usually try to check the resources. And for example, uh, today's lecture is already uh, in this other uh, page. So please uh, the, the, the find it. And uh, I will do my best to uh, put the uh, material, latest material uh, in, the, in advance before the uh, lecture uh, as much as possible. However, the video is a different story. Uh, video requires some edit. So uh, uh, it takes time and it may not be actually on uh, the, the, the uh, timely. It can be, you know, uh, the even uh, very later uh, from this uh, the, the lecture. So I really apologize for that. But the, the, please consider video as a more like optional uh, materials. Uh, but at least for the course PDF, I will make it timely. And the more important part is that a homework assignment, which must be timely. So that's, I will definitely commit it. And today, as I mentioned, uh, the, the, I already uh, the, put the uh, weekly assignment here. So you guys can actually access to this uh, weekly assignment now. And the other, uh, but the other uh, the, uh, submission is through the grade scope. So possibly, probably, I will try to finish today a bit earlier and we will explain about the, the weekly assignment and how to submit it. Um, do you guys have some questions about this general logistics? Yes. Yeah, so if we find that it will be not really Currently, the weekly assignment is linked to the grade scope with no actual time. So, uh, currently on Piazza, the weekly assignment link is linked directly to the grade scope or okay. without uh, assignment. Okay, I, I, I think I need to add a fix it. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's actually, uh, I was expecting to put it in the, uh, the PDF of the assignment, but I was wrongly setting the link. Uh, I will fix it. Uh, any other question? Okay. Sounds good. So uh, let's uh, move to the uh, today's 
uh, the topic. Uh, today, the agenda speech recognition demonstration and how we measure the performance, how we obtain transcriptions, and the uh, briefly talk about database. Okay, so uh, let's uh, start about the demonstration. So I think uh, the people here are mostly know automatic speech recognition. Uh, so I will, instead of explaining about you know what it is, I will try to do some demonstration. Let's see whether I can make it. I want to go to the CMU campus. Carnegie Mellon University cool. is three minutes from your location by car in heavy traffic. Here are your directions. It's a little bit hard to say, stress test. I want to go to the CMU campus. Carnegie Mellon Very University cool. is three minutes from your location by car in heavy traffic. Yeah, this is the, Here are your directions. Uh, the, the latest technology, I would say, Google guys did a great job uh, for making the system to be uh, robust to the uh, um, uh, noise and so on. So let me try to find some other material, for example. I want to go to the uh, CMU campus. Carnegie Mellon School of Computer okay, Science is four minutes from uh, your location the, by car in light uh, traffic. The, Here are your directions. Some errors, but it's actually the Japanese pronunciation of the English. So how do I say? Uh, Japanese, uh, Japanese English, yeah. Speech is still difficult to uh, make it, but it's, I think it's not very bad. So actually very, it's not very bad in terms of they actually find the correct intention, right? Although there are some mistakes. So that is very cool. Okay. Let's do the other example. Language. I will change it to the Japanese. CMU のキャンパスに行きたいです。渋滞の場合、カーネギーメロン大学は現在地から車で4分です。こちらがルートです。プリストラストミ。そう、デイリーダグレイジョブ。あ、イブンフォーマルティリンガーをセットアップ。テイク
people may think that this kind of system is uh, the, the, the failing, right? So this is a good example. Uh, the most important part, the uh, the place, the name of the place is actually uh, the, the wrongly estimated. So this sentence is actually quite nonsense, and it is very makes sense to consider this one as an error, right? However, is that the uh, the uh, the kind of a very good measure to reflect our system? Um, ignore that you know importance of the each character uh, the, the world. Uh, uh, the other part is actually quite working well, right? I want to go to and the campus. And actually this one uh, phonemically very similar, right? So uh, we want to uh, evaluate this kind of system with more other uh, uh, resolutional uh, the, the, uh, the measure, uh, local correctness. So actually we don't use sentence error so much. Instead, as a pure speech definition performance, what we usually use is a word error rate, where uh, we actually make uh, several uh, the types of the error. Uh, for example, in this case, who and the za is replaced with the C and the A. So this is correspond to the substitution errors. And the recognition result actually uh, is uh, the shorter uh, the, than the, uh, the original reference. So it becomes the uh, deletion errors. So the total number of the errors uh, in this sentence is actually three uh, the errors uh, in the world in terms of the number of words. And then we usually divide it by the number of reference words. And then this uh, error rate is uh, 37.5, which is makes sense, right? The, the more than half of the word uh, are correct. So this is actually uh, the using uh, uh, the lot uh, in our other uh, system. And the insertion error happens if we have a more uh, the, the, character, uh, the word here. I will have some uh, more specific examples later. And the uh, this is the kind of English cases. And uh, uh, the some of uh, you here actually they, they, in CMU the majority uh, of people are uh, actually uh, uh, working on the uh, uh, languages that don't have a word boundary or even don't have a concept of the word, right? In this case, we actually also using the character uh, error rate. Uh, this is a Japanese example. Uh, yeah, again, you know, for you guys, these are more like a mysterious <laughs> characters. But anyway, uh, the, we don't have a word boundary. We don't have a concept of a word. Well, we have a concept of the word in some sense, you know, it, when we imported the uh, uh, grammar and so on from the other uh, Western uh, culture. But in general, we don't. And then we actually using the character error rate. In this case, uh, we just have our two uh, substitution uh, errors uh, in this. Uh, the, the uh, recognition result and the uh, error is com uh, computed as uh, like this. It's mostly working. However, as you can see that uh, the, the, this uh, error count can be very difficult because the length is different. This case is easy because the length is same. So we just find the, uh, the uh, part that is not uh, the correct. But in this case, we also, the length is also different. So we actually have to adjust the length and then find the, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, errors uh, the, the, uh, corresponding to the difference. And this uh, the problem is not very easy. And the people actually using the edit distance, uh, the minimum edit uh, the, the operations to consider uh, the, the errors uh, in this sentence and so on. So this other uh, method is called uh, the edit distance or Levenstein uh, distance. And uh, I would like to uh, the explain uh, the how to uh, the compute uh, this uh, the distance. So first, uh, the, we uh, have a table uh, of the hypothesis and the reference, okay? And then the, the, uh, the, the second, uh, 
we actually expand this table to consider the uh, the, uh, the blank uh, the start of sentence uh, the period uh, so that we also consider the uh, the insertion or deletion errors happened in the beginning of the sentences. And then uh, the basically we try to compute the accumulated cost for each element. Uh, the, this is the actually uh, the calculation uh, of the, uh, the cost of the each element. Ij correspond to the, uh, the each of the kind of uh, the element uh, in this graph. And usually we be using the local uh, substitution cost uh, as a one uh, Kronecker delta. So it can be if uh, the uh, exactly substitution, uh, if the, uh, the, uh, the ij, uh, let's say, for example, here, uh, campus and C is different, right? And then the, the, uh, the, the, uh, the cost of the error is one. And then the, uh, the campus campus here, actually this is uh, uh, the exactly same. So in this case, the uh, cost is zero. Okay. So by using the, uh, the uh, this kind of our, uh, the cost, uh, we can also uh, the, uh, making this part to be more concrete. But uh, why we make it uh, the uh, separate is that sometimes we using the different cost for the substitution errors. So that the generally we uh, call this one, but in general, you, we would say that this, this is just a, uh, the cost of zero one. Okay, let's try to compute uh, the uh, edit distance. First, what we will do is we initialize the cost, accumulated cost of uh, these kind of uh, uh, lines. This one corresponding to, for example, if we don't have uh, any output in the difference, and if we don't have uh, any output in the hypothesis, uh, the, it should be uh, no uh, the error, right? So this is the, the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the error count is zero. And in this case, it's uh, references doesn't uh, have any output and the hypothesis having uh, the, the, the output, this is uh, obviously error, right? And then this is one. And the hypothesis uh, that has a two word for difference doesn't have any uh, output. The number of the accumulated error is two and so on. And the same for this case is as well, uh, difference is to the CME campus, but the hypothesis uh, doesn't have uh, any uh, the output, then the error is accumulated, right? So this initialization is more like uh, uh, the uh, straightforward. And then the, the, we try to kind of uh, figure out all the other part of this kind of a table. So first, uh, the, the uh, case is the insertion case. Um, you see this arrow. Arrow, yeah. So in this kind of uh, the, the direction, uh, we will have uh, additional uh, the, uh, insertion errors. So this, if we go to this uh, direction, it is goes to one plus one equal to. Uh, this is correspond to this first term of the equation. And the second case, deletion case, goes to this direction. In this case. Uh, the, the, uh, the error is two. And the substitution case is a diagonal uh, transition uh, from here to here. And then uh, the, uh, the, in this case, uh, the C and the two are different. So cost is actually one. So uh, the, this uh, the local cost is two or two or one. And we try to get the kind of minimum uh, of the other uh, cost, uh, which uh, means that uh, this uh, the, the accumulated cost uh, the, uh, would be one, since uh, the we uh, take a minimum of two to one. Okay, 
And uh, by uh, doing this operation, uh, the, the, uh, for all of the uh, the the, the uh, the cells, uh, we could actually uh, compute the uh, the edit distance. If we did to find out this one, we could actually find the uh, the, the the minimum uh, edit uh, the the distance. So let me try whether I can make it right now. So. Okay, this is very difficult because I have to uh, face this way and, way and uh, type this way. Uh, this case is um, from here to here three, from here to here two, two, this would be two, and this one is three. And uh, this one, two, and uh, this case, Can someone say this case is gonna be two? Yes, because you know, from here to here, cost is three, three. From here to here, cost is three. But from here to here, cost is two. So minimum will be this one. I guess this one would be three. And uh, let's make it three, three, three. And the probably I'm wrong. Somewhere I'm wrong. If so, please correct me. Four, three, four. Yes, because from here to here, uh, the local cost is zero. So uh, this uh, is the my uh, yeah this is my answer and let's see whether it is correct or not. Um, yeah, it's not easy actually. Okay, it seems that I'm correct. <laughs> 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 okay, yes, go ahead. It is if it is completely same, it is zero. And if it's different, it is one. However, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, and this is a typical case. Uh, most like the, the most cases, you can just assuming that. okay. However, uh, the why people are, are making this one to be a little bit unique is that sometimes, for example, we want to have a more weight uh, for the substitution and so on than insertion and deletion and so on. So do you see that I kind of making a little bit kind of general form, but please understand that this is mostly uh, zero or one. Cool. Okay, so after we compute it, we actually uh, get the uh, uh, the minimum distance and we could even actually find the path of um for example from here to here we have a substitution there uh basically the uh the diagonal arrow uh, diagonal arrow uh is the substitution error and the substitution error and we have our uh, the uh, deletion error. And then uh, this uh, arrow is actually correct. And then reaching the um, uh, final. And then we can actually identify that this one is the substitution error, substitution error, uh, the uh, deletion error, and so on. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, from up and down, it will be frame, right? For the duration space. Oh, yeah, maybe I kind of mistake. Deletion is uh, blue or something like that. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. Yes, yes. Um, yes, Ada, I think you're right. 
I, I kind of confused some part. Uh, so I will fix it. Thank you so much. Okay, so uh, the, this is the uh, result uh, we obtained. Uh, by the way, uh, do you think it is a unique solution? No. Right, yeah, you're right. So we actually have a lot of passes to uh, the reach to this uh, the, the, the goal. So uh, the, uh, this deletion and substitution can be actually uh, the replaced. And if we also have an insertion, uh, this is actually quite uh, the, the, the more complicated. So just kind of remember that. However, usually we kind of are making a, a, the, the, uh, some uh, the, the, uh, how to say, priority for the errors, and then uh, the making this uh, the, the error pattern to be unique. So this is a kind of uh, Levenstein distance, uh, edit distance, uh, which we usually use uh, for the speech recognition. Is this used uh, in like, real world applications? This is like a one square thing takes time. Is this used in the practical world? Yeah, it, it's used in the practical way, but there are several other algorithms to actually making it faster. So uh, this is just a one example. Yes, uh, exactly, you're right, yes. I, I heard that there are, there are several algorithms or even people using Beam, uh, it's a little bit kind of ex, uh, the, the uh, advanced topic. It, people can also even use a Beam to actually prune the uh, edge of the part uh, and so on, yes. But in general, I think it's not easy to make it faster. And then the, 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 the actually edit distance uh, making uh, the, the, uh, some cost when we compute that, but it's the, the speech uh, sentences is usually the order of the, uh, the number of the word is usually order of the, the at the most hundred. So it's actually quite uh, the small computation time. So my understanding is that many of the algorithm uh, is just using this other way, yeah. Okay, so uh, uh, next, uh, the, I'd like to make a little bit more, um, a general observation of this uh, the, the edit distance. First, this error can go over 100%. So uh, this is actually one of the example. Yeah, this recognition result is actually extremely long. In this case, actually the error uh, uh, number of the errors is over the number of the uh, difference and the, the error goes to other hundred percent. But the, the error does not go to minus negative, yeah. And another pattern, another uh, the, the, uh, discussion uh, is that as I mentioned, the error uh, breakdown uh, is not unique. So the, I had a previous uh, the example of this one, and this one is uh, the uh, same error count. And uh, for this example, in such cases, actually uh, the we can also regarding this part as a deletion, uh, the uh, no substitution, and then uh, this part can be uh, the insertion and so on. So we can actually make it. Uh, the, the, uh, the generally we have a uh, various uh, the, the, uh, the, the unique uh, pattern uh, of the error. However, uh, this uh, is a still very good measure. So uh, for example, if we have a too many insertion errors, this case, it sounds like you know, uh, that we should not make this kind of things happen, right? But actually it, when I make a system, I often observe this kind of uh, error, mostly due to the errors in the system search. So uh, the, it's not from the, uh, the model, it's uh, the more like uh, the search algorithm. And the, the, I also often found the deletion error, too many deletion errors. This usually happens that the model is not great. So uh, the uh, people just, uh, the, the, some people may just talking about the word error rate, 
but the, the if uh, the, the when you guys debug something happen i strongly recommend you guys to actually check this breakdown how many insertion how many deletion uh the in addition to the substitution uh, errors which uh the in this kind of lecture we will also uh the, the dive into the actual speech recognition systems and uh, the, the our tool is actually automatically calculating this word error rate and also uh, the providing the breakdown of this insertion uh substitution uh, deletion and so on and then you know before uh the asking the ta or me about you know your system is wrong you guys may check uh the, this insertion and the deletion errors and again deletion errors the many deletion errors mostly you are trading something wrong and the the uh uh, the, you have a, a lot of kind of uh, uh, the insertion errors. Mostly, uh, your uh, the, the system, some of the algorithm part of the systems is wrong. Okay, so uh, that's the uh, the Levenstein distance. And uh, now, I would like to uh, move to the uh, short quiz, uh, which will be our participation uh, point today. Um, I actually hide the slide. <laughs> so that you, know, you guys cannot you know uh, check it in advance first what i have to do is i have to make the piazza question part to be published so please check the piazza now uh, you you guys can see the short quiz um And then please compute this one now and then answer the number of errors now. Is that clear? Check the piazza, and I think you guys can find this short quiz for the study first today and then please compute this error and then put uh, the, the uh, number of counts based on your calculation today how many minutes do we need maybe it's five minutes no <laughs> <laughs> By the way, devoting is not allowed. So <laughs> if you guys make some mistake and put it, uh, you, you guys cannot actually uh, uh, enjoy that.
Okay, so uh, I will cross that. Okay, to cross it. Okay. Uh, cross a four. And the. Maybe I can paste it here. So this is the result. Uh, 52 people bought, and the most people actually uh, voted two, and some people three and four. And the answer is actually two. So many of them actually are correct. And uh, is that not anonymized by the phone? Yeah, yeah. Uh, for, for you guys. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, so again, this becomes the participation point. Uh, I do not fully really decide the, how to say, uh, the, the how we provide a point, but the at least you know, attending this <laughs> uh, voting may get some point, even they are incorrect. And then correct people will have uh, the full point, which is one. Okay, sounds good. By the way, uh, this is today's homework. <laughs> Little bit larger. <laughs> uh, the matrix. <laughs> Enjoy uh, the, uh, the homework. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, I will explain the homework here. Yes. Okay, so uh, the. Uh, is this the, uh, use, uh, the only cost? Uh, used for the speech recognition? Actually not. Uh, we also using the other cost, for example, phoneme error rate. Uh, the, if remember one of some examples, actually the, uh, the errors are phonemically very close, right? CMU uh, becomes CA or something like that. So uh, that's the uh, uh, to kind of find the other uh, uh, phonemic, uh, distance uh, phoneme error rate is often used. And the, uh, the uh, I uh, often use the, this uh, NIST, spe oh, sorry, uh, NIST speech recognition toolkit, SCTK, to compute this uh, word error rate uh, and so on. 
the reason is that the uh, there are some small difference uh, of the scoring tools, whether we consider the case uh, the, to be uh, the, the uh, uh, distinctive or not, uh, we consider the uh, the punctuation and so on. And we uh, the, the can also deal with the Unicode safely. And the, uh, the NIST uh, is providing uh, this kind of uh, the toolkit and which actually uh, the, for us to get the exactly same result. So, yeah, actually, I want to mention that, you know, nowadays, you know, many people actually are the, working on various uh, the, the, uh, machine learning problems, right? And if the evaluation metrics, the slightly result is different, it can be disaster, right? We cannot compare it. So to uh, avoid this kind of uh, uh, things, I will try to use the standard, standardized toolkit as much as possible. And NIST is a kind of a, uh, uh, the government organization to make the standardization, uh, including you know, many of the physics, like you know, uh, time. They also are the, are the, are the managing the, the atomic time, uh, the unit, uh, so that you know, our time is you know, every time very correct all over the world. So NIST is uh, the government uh, organization to do this kind of a, uh, work. And they actually also kindly uh, are working on the, uh, our uh, the, uh, problem and the standardized toolkit. So we usually can safely compare the uh, error rate across the other uh, the, the report, uh, the differences and so on. This is very important. Uh, the other note is that Actually, uh, the speech recognition is one of the most active uh, the re research areas in all speech uh, the processing field. So in the, uh, the, uh, the previous uh, presentation, I mentioned that there are a lot of speech problems. But in terms of the number of the population of working on the speech recognition, it's actually the most uh, compared with the other uh, areas. One reason is speech recognition is very cool, a very kind of cool in terms of the, 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 the application. The other reason is that we have a very, very, uh, how to say, solid measure, word error rate. This is uh, the, uh, the, the, the quite obvious measure of the, and the easy objective measure. And they can also uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, reflecting downstream tasks like a spoken language understanding, speech translation, and so on. Word error rate is highly correlated. Yeah, you can imagine, right? If word error rate is wrong, the, the downstream translation and so on is also wrong. So due to that, uh, the word error rate is a quite good measure. And then due to that, actually speech recognition is regarded as one of the very well solid, well, how to say, uh, the uh, the established uh, machine learning benchmark. So this is another reason that speech recognition, there are a lot, lot of speech recognition researchers. Since we, for example, come up with a new nice uh, the, the machine learning tools and then applying it to the speech recognition and getting the better performance, which is fully authorized. So this is actually uh, the, the, uh, the one of the kind of speech recognition research styles. We have a common benchmark and we have a solid uh, the, the evaluation metric. So people are just focusing on improving the performance and so on. I showed this graph, uh, the graph several times, but this graph in other area, it may not be easy to obtain if we don't have a good evaluation measures and so on. And speech recognition has that. So this is another reason that speech recognition is uh, the, the most actively studied in, in all other speech areas. And in some sense, easy, because we don't care so much about evaluation metric. We're just using word error rate. Uh, the example, for example, speech synthesis. Uh, there are several objective measures, but we actually have to use the subjective measure, which we have to listen. Uh, same for the, the speech enhancement. Uh, there are several other objective measures, but finally, uh, we have to listen. Uh, spoken dialogue systems, uh, we have to ask people to use it 
and you know other getting some other questionnaire to other get the satisfactory other the uh, opinions and so on so uh, the, the other uh, the speech processing uh, there are a lot of objective measure they propose but it is not perfect and the people usually still using the uh, human evaluation but speech recognition uh, that we actually don't have to have that however to do that we need a transcription right we need a uh, transcription we need a speech and the corresponding transcription and then we can complete the word error rate. or even if we train a model we need this kind of transcription right so the next part uh, i would like to explain how we obtain the transcriptions okay already 5 30. let me try my best so uh, the, actually, uh, there are a lot of uh, the speech uh, databases, a uh, way to collect the speech. And uh, we actually have uh, two types of the speech data. One is the let speech, uh, which we prepare the sentences in advance. And then asking the people to speak that. And then we could have our speech and the corresponding sentences, right? So this is quite easy to obtain. And many of the actually are the initial speech recognition database is collected like that. So this other database is called Let's See. However, our real life, uh, this situation is very rare, right? And actually uh, the let speech and the, our normal conversation, spontaneous speech is very different in terms of the speaking style and so on. So we actually also have to correct and transcribe this spontaneous speech. And actually this uh, transcription of the, uh, the uh, spontaneous speech is not easy because we have to listen and we have to uh, transcribe it. Okay, uh, let's first talk about the let speech. Again, we usually have a prompt and we just are reading it. And a good example would be the common voice, uh, the which I, we would skip the demonstration today, but if you guys check uh, this uh, the web page, maybe mm, yeah, let's skip it. Uh, that you guys can uh, find the, 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 the how easily we can correct the speech data by uh, just reading the prompt uh, and uh, getting the, uh, the the pairs of the data. Uh, this is easy to correct, also easy to anonymize uh, because this sentence is. Uh, that are uh, uh, corrected in advance. So sentence itself may not have a personal information, but it's the problem is that it's not a real conversation. So uh, the, uh, the two, uh, the tackle uh, the, uh, the real conversation, again, what we will do is transcribe the actual recording. However, it takes very long time to transcribe it. Uh, for example, uh, the, my personal uh, the experience, two minutes of the switchboard audio, which is one of the most famous uh, the audio example uh, in speech recognition, it takes, my case, 30 minutes. I am not uh, the, the native speaker, so probably that's another reason, uh, but it usually takes uh, such kind of a very long time. By the way, this is another homework. <laughs> <laughs> You do not have to take 30 minutes, uh, but the, the, I, I would like to ask you to find how it is difficult uh, the, based on the uh, homework. And also this is not easy in terms of normalize the text and so on. Uh, there are a lot of speaking style, spontaneous speech actually having a lot of issues in terms of the text. And anonymization is also an issue uh, and so on. Uh, so uh, the actually uh, the the, the uh, this uh, the becomes even more difficult if we moving from the single speaker uh, cross talking setup to the conversation setup, and this is the this error rate is uh, the uh, the speech recognition error rate, not uh, the automatic speech recognition error rate, not human error rate, but of course it is correlated. And the, uh, the, com the, the if we uh, the try to transcribe the meeting scenarios, it is very, very difficult. 
I think I can uh, play some of the audio. Hope it would work. Not work. This is all the effort needed to beat the lobster. Like, all the Let me check the audio setup. Okay. It is super difficult, right? <laughs> Even for you guys to, you know, other listening, it's super difficult. And correctly transcribed, it takes very long time. By the way, this time six is other the other project that I am. Uh, I was involved in uh, as an organizer of this challenge. And this is regarded as one of the most difficult uh, speech recognition tasks uh, in the community. Yeah, I did not uh, the, transcribe it by myself. Uh, that we you know, uh, the, asked the company to do it. But after that, we actually have to check it, right? And sometimes uh, fix it, right? It took a very long time to just, for example, the, uh, fixing one minute of the audio. Uh, the, 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 the one reason is, again, I'm not a native speaker, but uh, the, you see that you know, audio condition is also very bad. And the people are speaking at the same time and very frank English. So it's very difficult to actually transcribe it. You mentioned that uh, in the slide that you showed before, 5.9% is the error rate of PSR right now. So what's the human error rate? So I'm, I'm assuming it's not perfect, the fact that we also couldn't understand. Very good question. Actually, for this particular task, uh, human recognition performance is worse than automatic <laughs> speech recognition performance. <laughs> so actually, this result uh, is uh, uh, one of the kind of uh, important uh, part that Microsoft started to play that uh, we had uh, the, the, uh, outperform the human performance. And uh, later, IBM also kind of checked it. And actually, the conclusion is not fully. However, still, we would say that our current automatic speech recognition system is comparable to the human uh, speech recognition. Very good question. However, again, this is only for the case that we using the cross of microphone. So this is actually telephone speech recognition. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this uh, the, the meeting scenario or the, the more, uh, the, how to say, casual conversation scenario, uh, again, uh, the, the uh, human, uh, still not sure which is better and so on, but the other error rate is still very bad. By the way, for this, uh, the, the, uh, the time six challenge, I also the, had to prepare the baseline system for the challenge. And the first uh, word error rate uh, of the, the, I put a lot of effort in making it as a state of the art system, but first result of the word error rate is 80%. <laughs> <laughs> it's not accuracy, 80% word error rate, yeah. However, yeah, it, the, the, once we you know make it as a challenge and a lot of people are participating, and then actually the best performance now is 30, 30% 30 word error rate, yeah. But this is not only for speech recognition, uh, the, the, the effort. We need to do a lot of kind of denoising and so on. So this is actually another story. Yeah. Um, I would skip to some of that. OK, so um, anyway, the, the spontaneous speech, uh, we have to uh, the transcribe, uh, listening the audio and uh, transcribe it. And uh, here, I usually using the audacity which was also developed in cmu here by the way and the very famous tool uh for us to how to say analyze the audio or even using it as a transcription yeah and uh, i actually would like you to also use this tool 
And the, instead of for me to you know make a demonstration now, I just made uh, the video. <laughs> so let's play that. So this is the Audacity interface. Okay. <laughs> Past segment the appearing. Segment the period now. You could imagine, you know, how long it would take. Right? <laughs> well, of course, you know, uh, real annotator may have a more sophisticated tools to make this kind of a process easier. But in general, the, what we have to do is the same. And it takes very long time uh, compared with the red speech to correct the spontaneous speech. And the, uh, uh, I kind of uh, explained about the uh, less speech and the spontaneous speech, and there are actually lots of lots of speech data uh, in the world. And the, uh, the if you guys check, for example, uh, the LDC or other uh, the uh, institution, you actually could get a lot of data. Uh, among them, uh, the L LDC is the most famous uh, the institute. Uh, to host a lot of uh, the, the uh, uh, linguistic data and actually famous speech data uh, usually uh, the released uh, from this LDC. Like Kimit, Wall Street Journal, Switchboard. Switchboard is uh, the one that I played last time. Uh, these are released through this uh, the, the LDC uh, linguistic uh, data consortium uh, the inside the University of uh, Pennsylvania. And uh, this is well managed, but actually has a license restriction. So now people actually moving more for the open science. And actually people started to uh, the harbor, uh, put all of these other less re uh, license restricted data. And the most famous one is uh, Common Voice that I skipped at the, the, uh, the uh, demonstration. But if you guys check this kind of a, a web page, uh, you guys can find a lot of actually speech data uh, the, and the corresponding transcription uh, to train a lot of models and so on. And another uh, the website, OpenSLR, uh, is uh, the, the basically also hosting a lot of data. And the VoxForge uh, is actually the, not very famous and not active anymore, but one of the, of the first uh, the activities to make a speech data to be public. So I just listing by uh, respecting the effort. And the uh, uh, Denodo is another uh, sources that uh, we can uh, get a lot of speech data and so on. And in addition to do that, we also actually have our public recording and possibly with the captions. Uh, for example, YouTube, podcast, uh, TED Talk, uh, Parliament or other government recording, which actually must have a transcription for the, uh, the, uh, the data access issues, uh, loads and so on, and the Bible. And the, the, you guys actually can find a lot of data, but uh, this data, uh, we should be a bit careful about the license uh, and so on. And also uh, the web-based uh, data is changing, right? Since web data is dynamic. so. The issue, sometimes the issue is that the API is changed and we cannot get the data anymore uh, and so on. This is actually happens. Or the, the content will be either edited or deleted. YouTube often happens, right? So this is a very good resource, but we should be a bit careful about that. By the way, there is a one project in the, the CMU here is actually try to kind of uh, correct the, uh, the, the Bible data, uh, which has actually a lot of the uh, the, the, the Bible in many languages, 
and the corresponding speech data. And it's totally uh, the over 700 languages. So probably one of the biggest uh, speech, uh, the multilingual uh, the speech data in terms of the number of languages. And this is actually uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the managed by the uh, Professor Adam Black uh, used to be here in CMU. Okay, so uh, I think this is the last part. So I usually using the speech data with our other unit. So please uh, get used to that, be getting used to that. Um, and if, for example, in your kind of town project or whatever, uh, the, the, usually I may ask you guys how many hours, and so this is very important. Uh, for me to understand the scale of the data, hour is very important. And the, uh, if we try to make a product, probably we need to have a more than 1,000 hours of data. And the feature is very expensive, or which is very uh, too large for us to compute uh, some kind of a model based on the thousand hours. However, if we do the research, usual scale is 100 hours. Wall Street Journal, 100 hours, uh, 80 hours, and the switch board is 300 hours, uh, and so on. And this is by using one GPU, it can be like a one day or two days to train the model. So it is not very difficult for you guys to work on it, even for us. So, or well, even for many of us, actually researchers, yeah, the, including the industrial researchers. So due to that, the, uh, the, there are some kind of uh, the split, but anyway, for the research phase, uh, we often using the, this, this scale, 100 hours to up to 1,000 hours, other training data. And then uh, less than 100 hours uh, regarded as a low resource language, I would say. So then that uh, you guys may need to take care of the, the, uh, the, the, the low resource sparse data problems uh, and so on. However, recently, uh, self supervised learning, a uh, pre training, fine tuning strategy is actually changing the game. Uh, many actually, uh, the, the low resource uh, language speech, uh, the, uh, the recognition becomes possible uh, by using the pre training of the large scale data and then uh, fine tuning to the uh, small amount of uh, training data. So that's the kind of today's uh, the, the lecture. Uh, and before moving to the homework, I want to uh, save five minutes for the explanation of the homework. How about one minute? Do you have some questions? 